<clears throat> hey seventh graders, today's lesson is going to be kind of part one of a two-part lesson called a cannibal case study. Basically what you guys are going to be looking at is a couple different energy drinks, a couple which are a little antiquated, and then tomorrow you guys will be doing a little lab portion to this where you guys see if you have any neurological positive changes or effects from drinking energy drinks. So <clears throat> with that being said, what you guys uh, have for your learning targets, I can identify the ingredients in energy drinks and evaluate if they help increase the energy production in cells. So we're really going to touch on energy production. What is it? Okay, what do we need for that? And what do these energy drinks have in them that might help with that? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read the case study to you. After spending several years working the sports desk of the Lansing State Journal, Rhonda had landed the job of her dreams as writer for Runner's World magazine. The job was fantastic. Since high school, where she had excelled in cross country, Rhonda had been a consistent runner participating in local races and those assigned to her for her job. For her last assignment, she had run and reported on Leadwood, South Dakota Marathon. It was a blast. As if reading her mind, her boss Charlie walked in, then with a can of excess citrus blast in one hand and a list of several other energy drinks in the other. We've been getting a lot of inquiries about the different energy drinks on the market, including excess citrus blast. Do you know anything about them? Charlie asked. I know that people use them for various reasons, replied Rhonda. It seems they're primarily used by athletes to provide some fuel as they practice and compete. Other people use them more casually as a way to become energized. That's all about all I know. That seems to be about all any of us knows, Charlie said. For your next assignment, he continued, I want you to find out what each of the ingredients in these drinks is and what it does for a runner or a non-athlete. You need to be very accurate in your analysis to determine what each component really does for the body, not what the marketers want you to believe it does. Then look at the marketing claims of some of these drinks and see if the scientific facts match up to them. Many of our readers are using these drinks with some general notion that they're helpful, but they're basing their use of them on no scientific in information. I've got the marketing claims, a list of ingredients and nutrition facts provided on the cans for consumers, and a short list of questions that should get you started. When you research these, be sure to document all your sources on information, keeping in mind that all resources are not equal. Here's the information. Okay, so what you guys have, or excuse me, with that, Charlie left the office. Rhonda looked over the list. Guess I'll have to brush up on my biochemistry. No problem. I'm interested in knowing if my running would be improved by drinking this stuff. Rhonda recalled that a food calories content was the simplest reflection of its energy content. Looking at Charlie's list, she saw the different energy drinks contain the following number of calories. So basically calories is how much uh, stored energy we have to burn. Okay, so you guys can kind of think of it like that. It's kind of a rough definition of it. But if we're looking at these, you can see that the excess citrus splash, which I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, I haven't, has about 8 calories. Red Bull, you guys have probably all heard of, is about 110 calories. Sobe, Adrenaline Rush, about 140. Impulse, which I've never heard of, is about 150. And then if you just look at, like, a Coca-Cola, you can see 140 as well. So you guys can kind of use that to compare if that will be any different. Okay, so for you guys working at home, I'll just assign you guys Red Bull just to keep it simple. So what you guys have on slide eight is the claims for Red Bull. The Red Bull energy drink is a functional product developed especially for periods of increased mental and physical exertion. It can be drunk in virtually any situation at sport, work, study, driving, and socializing. Improves performance, especially during times of increased stress or strain. Improves concentration and reaction speed and stimulates the metabolism. But the main thing that you guys need to focus on here is the list of ingredients. So carbonated water, sucrose, glucose, sodium citrate, taurine, uh, gluconeurolactone, caffeine, inositol, niacin, diapantothenol, uh, pyrexidine, uh, HCL, excuse me, vitamin B12, artificial flavors and colors. Okay, and then you guys can see a little bit more about the um, nutrition facts there. Okay, with that being said, since you guys are doing Red Bull, you guys can get rid of slides 9, 10, 11, and 12 because you guys don't need that information for those other drinks. Everyone kind of was assigned a different drinking class to look at. Okay, so your directions. You will be assigned an energy drink to study. You can delete the slides that are not your energy drink if you wish. So again, that would be slides 9 through 12. You don't have to, though. Uh, read through your ingredients on the energy drink slide. Find these ingredients on the packet handed out to you. For those of you guys who are at home, though, this is going to be your packet. So you will right-click and open that link. And it's going to take you guys in here. So the pages you guys need are starting on page 6. 
seven, and eight. Okay, these have a list of general um, ingredients that you guys would find in red or excuse me in energy drinks. You guys may not find everything you have on there, but it kind of just lists a little bit about what you might need to know about your um, energy drink. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that for you guys a little bit. And then I'm going to do one example for you guys. Okay, it really does not want to zoom. Okay. Better. Okay. So what you guys will do on this is you guys will take a look at your Red Bull. And you guys will pick out an ingredient. So let's do, let's see here, niacin. Okay. I know niacin should be on this list. So I'm going to go find niacin. I think these are all, here's niacin. Um, this is a water-soluble vitamin. What it does, it, derivatives such as NADH are required for metabolism. So you guys can notice, yeah, you may not know what derivatives of NA, NADH are, but you guys see that we need something for metabolism that comes from niacin. And we know that metabolism is, is the body's um, use of energy for growth and repair. So it is said to aid in the synthesis of amino acids, so it helps make amino acids and which are the little subunits of protein, which you guys know that proteins digest down into amino acids. It has not been directly linked to improving athletic performance. So that's something to keep in mind. So what you guys will do on slide 14 is you guys would add, all right, niacin was a vitamin. So I'm gonna add it under the vitamin section, okay? And then you guys can go through the rest of the ingredients um, on for Red Bull that are included on this list, and you guys can classify them as either a source of energy. Okay, keep in mind the two things that we need to make energy. Okay, our body has to have glucose, and it has to have um, oxygen. Okay, that's why we breathe heavy when we work out, when we're expending energy and need a lot more energy, we need a lot more oxygen, okay? And that's why we kind of get the shakes too if we don't have enough sugar in our blood. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. So sources of energy would be anything that's related to sugar, glucose, those kinds of things. Um, amino acids obviously help us build protein. So that might be good for an athlete if you consider that most of your muscles made out of protein, but that doesn't necessarily mean it helps us be more energetic, okay? Uh, stimulants help kind of stimulate our nervous system. So maybe our work going a little bit faster we're a little bit more alert vitamins obviously you guys know what those are and then you guys might have one that just doesn't fit under these three categories so just put it under other okay once you guys are done answer the question what is needed to make energy we just talked about that okay other than what is needed to make energy in our cells what other molecules or ingredients might help someone out who is expending a lot of energy so if we think of a runner if we look back at our ingredients what are some other things that we see here that might help us as an athlete Okay, so think of that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a runner. Uh, slide 16, do you think your energy drink will give the drinker added energy, yes or no? And give three reasons or examples why. So that might be maybe some list of ingredients. Okay, that might be just what you guys know about how we make energy in our body, those kinds of things. Okay, and what are some positive effects your energy drink may have on your body? So maybe it doesn't necessarily help with energy. So outside of energy production, what... What other things might be good for you out of this energy drink? And then on the other hand, what are some ways your energy drink might not be good for you? So give me some explanation there. Okay, that's your guys' assignment for today. Once you guys are done with that, go ahead, hand it in. Remember, you guys are focusing just on Red Bull, so you guys can ignore like the Sobe adrenaline rush, the impulse, all that other stuff. Okay, just focus on Red Bull today and come back tomorrow to see what your guys' assignment will be. It'll be something that you guys need to make up with me in class. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.